All right, so we open up Drive Wizard, USB to serial to RJ45, plugged into a VFD. And then in Drive Wizard, we're gonna go to Drive Selection and Communication. Make sure you have the correct COM port selected because it will not talk if you don't. COM 10 online. Connect and go online. Give it three years to initialize all the parameters. Ignore Jeff thoroughly. <laughs> All right, now we're going to go to drive trending. Click on. Uh, you don't need to save the previous recording because there's not one. If you don't click on, it'll show you graphs, but you can't actually look at any of the data for whatever reason. So now that we're set up to start capturing, we're going to go to the VFD in question, put it in local, clear the CD stuff in this case, which you don't have to do. And this is set to run at a frequency of 12. So in the test I'm going to have you do, I want you to run it at 60, but you would set your frequency, find, use the up or down arrows to find FOR or REV, which is for forward or reverse. And then to change it, you press enter, use the arrow key, press enter again. To change the frequency, you would press enter, change it to whatever you want it to be, just do like 22 so you can see it change. Press enter, then it's still blinking, you have to hit escape to get it to not blink, so you can run it. So now we're going to be running forward at 22 hertz. So what I'm going to do is hit start over here so I can start my capture. It starts recording data. Over here, I'm going to hit run. The carriage runs away from me. I hit stop to stop it. And you can see I clicked the data, so I'm going to stop my data collection. You can click anywhere on the timeline and then just use the arrow keys to jump back to where you were. So, then clicking on the timeline for all these values you have set to capture, which I did like frequency, the, what we're telling it to run at, what it's outputting that it's running at, what it's calculated the motor's actually running at, torque reference, output voltage and current, when speed agree happens, so when it thinks it's at the point that it's controlling the speed accurately based on the load. Um, at any point, if you click on this line, it will show you what the actual values are. So for torque, for instance, if I go to the highest point in torque, it shows me that the torque was at negative 56%. It's negative because it was in reverse. Um, but then to save it, you can save it as the Escalwa project, so you can reopen it and click through the data points, or you can just print it as a PDF to, with the line set where you want, so you can see the the data that you captured. And that is about it.